Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, got another gameplay for you today, and today we'll be going over some gameplay tips. These are going to be ten tips that can help you win more games in Madden 21. A lot of them are really universal. Whether, what, no matter what Madden you're playing, these things are going to help you because they're not necessarily functions of the game. They're more uh, things as a player that you should be looking for and things that you should be doing. Before I get into the video, though, if you guys want to do me a quick favor, just scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. Every time you guys do that, things like that, commenting, sharing, all that stuff really helps. This channel out and if you like what you see make sure to stick around and hit the subscribe button other than that let's go and let's get right into the video before I get into this video, I also want to point out uh, that I just put out a very successful scheme you're going to see quite a bit from the Wing Flex Close in this video that I'm using a lot. So if you want to see an actual breakdown of that, it's the play I'm showing you right here as well. Um, link in the description below. Other than that, I'm not going to be talking about that too much in this particular video. So starting off, like I said, we're on offense. And the first thing you really got to do is read the defense. You can see right here, I read the defense. I essentially could read. This is going to be a man coverage. Uh, so my very first instinct is to put my X route on a zig. Uh, but you can see ultimately it doesn't matter as he comes right up the middle with a user blitz and that running back does a terrific job what? of taking away that A-gap pressure. What the hell was that? I guess he really didn't want none of Harrison Smith. So very next play, this is a cover three. You can see the extra route's wide open underneath. Uh, but there's little things that really make a difference, and that's things like timing and uh, how to pass lead. If I don't pass lead and throw this on time, it goes from being a wide open play to being an interception Damn it! that eventually gets to return for a touchdown. So these little things are really what make the biggest difference in Madden. How bad can you get? Just how goddamn bad can it get? Now, I have tip videos on all these things. I'll put a link in the description for my tips and tricks uh, playlist. You guys can check that out if you want to. Very next play, getting the ball back. The next thing you want to do is you want to always make sure that you're looking for uh, advantages when it comes to defense. That becomes whether it's passing or running. So this is a cover three once again. I know that cover threes are weak outside when it comes to run defense. And sure enough, you can see we're going to get a big play. There's nothing out here. So that's another tip right there also. Uh, and that's knowledge of the game. And if videos like these help you out, with that make sure to subscribe so you can catch a lot more of these because i make a lot of videos like this the next tip is ball security now this is something that you can't always control because fumbles are random but there is a certain level you can control and you can see i'm doing it right here by running to the sideline pretty much every play i limit my chances of fumbling and the other team getting the ball as you can see right here it gets knocked out goes out of bounds that's something they that can do on pretty much every play and it's something that i typically do on every play the very next play i do the exact same thing i get tackled out of bounds if i were to fumble not a big deal use the sideline as a shield Shield every play possible. Obviously, if you catch the ball over the middle, you can't necessarily do that. Very next play, read the defense post-snap is just as important as reading it pre-snap. The second I realize this is a man, I see all the routes pull back all the DBs. I know I can take over the quarterback. I get a very big play. Uh, very next play, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use a motion snap. Motion snapping, uh, whether it's running routes or blocking, is very overpowered this year. Uh, so that's something that you can always create a blocking advantage when you're running the ball, or you can create a speed advantage when you're using it in receiving plays. Uh, moving on to the defensive side, once again, the same way you want to try to attack a weakness and know a weakness on offense, you have to also know the weakness on your defense and protect that weakness first. I know a defense I'm running, so I have to assume my opponent does too. I'm running a man coverage. He seems to know that because he's running all slants, but typically beats man coverage gotcha, bitch. and then you can see I jumped the route and pick it off now let's rewind that back quick <laughs> Because there's something else that I was doing there that you should do every play, and that's watch every route. As a user, you should be watching pretty much every route on the field so that you make so that you know basically what's going on. Because a lot of times, if you just pay attention to what's developing in front of you, there's like a much deeper play developing in an area that you're not paying attention to. So make sure that you do that. On the offensive side, I read the defense one more time. It looks like he's sending an all-out man blitz. I make my user adjustment uh, with the B route here in a zig, uh, and ultimately, you know, I make the I make the right read. I get I put my blocking there. It wasn't a man, uh, but it doesn't change the fact that that receiver was wide open underneath the zone. What the fuck? And for whatever reason, either the throw was too far, or when I switched over to user, for some reason, he, like, stopped. I have no idea what happened there. You son of a bitches! You don't deserve a locker room! You don't deserve a locker room the way you're playing this year! You should be playing without uniforms! You should be playing with jock straps! But it was total BS, and I give the ball right back. Very next play, my opponent is having a lot of success reading my defense because he keeps catching me in man coverage, and he's hitting me with some pretty good man-beater plays. That's a good man-beating route from the running back. He knows I have to use it. I don't stick with it. A lot of times, I mean, I'll take a lot of chances until I get close to the goal line. So here we go. I watch all the receivers one more time. You can see right there, slants again. I saw the guy on the one side definitely covered. The guy on the other side definitely was not. 
and I was able to make the play based off of the fact that I was watching all that. So, fourth and goal, he's going to hit me with the exact same play that he had success, which basically got him in this situation. For whatever reason, the running back drops it. <laughs> I'll take it. I felt like I got my fair share of BS. So, on the offensive side, we're in a bad position. I'm going to have to remember his tendencies because he's been saying a lot of man blitzes. So, I hit him with a really easy man beater just to get my back off the wall. And then I can, I can pretty much run my offense. So, here once again, it looks like we might be in another man coverage based off of the fact the alignment of the safeties are kind of wide. This is either that or a cover four. So, I'm going to motion this guy across. The second I do, I realize it is a man coverage because the, the, the cornerback follows. And I'm going to try to hit the Y route here. Basically, these, these wheel routes have a lot of success with this. He basically goes right up the middle. We get a really weird animation where the defensive tackle just basically is passed off to sack me. And I just throw it up hoping that I can get a jump ball or something. But you can see the way that, that animation was triggered. Every time we get ready to play, I just want to throw up. I'm goddamn sick of watching you guys play. There was no chance that, that anything else was going to happen. So that's just how Matt Madden is. Uh, very next series, he had a lot of success throwing that running back with that exact route. So I'm all over on the next play. I'm not going to let him keep beating me with that necessarily. Although on the next play, he does it again with a slight adjustment to have a route uh, kind of coming across. So he's going to basically play it like if I'm going to cover that route well, he's going to have another route in the area that he can throw to. So the next three plays, I have to remember these tendencies because he's just hitting that same running back route over and over and over. Three plays in a row, we're trying anyway. And you can see a lot of crossing nope. stuff he's really trying to mix me up as the user next play he goes deep i follow it he hits me underneath for the short gain uh so he's definitely you know he's working his way down the field against my man coverage and then the very next play once again running back exact same route uh, but for now he's having a lot of success so very next play on second and one i go with the four quarters and from the looks of this it looks like my safety's right in perfect position to make a play uh he's got his foot in the circle and sure enough he doesn't move at all he just lets the receiver catch the ball right in front of him <laughs> I feel like the BS in this game is pretty obvious, but it is what it is. I'm still down. I got ball, so we got to make something happen here. And on the very next play, like I'm saying, if you're reading the defense, small plays can really be big plays. If you read the defense properly, all this play is right here. I'm from the 30-yard line. I run a five-yard zig route, and this you know, pretty average receiver takes it all the way to the other side of the field on the 45. All that was was me reading the defense. It doesn't have to be a big route to be a big play. Very next play, I was hoping to do the same thing with speed. Uh, didn't quite get the result, but still, I'll take it. Eight yards. Uh, but like I said, read the defense. Every single play. Here, I'm thinking this is a cover two in the very next play, so I make my cover two setup. Uh, but ultimately, I guess it was some sort of augmented cover three. I don't know. It just didn't work out. So I'm going to be smart, knowing the situation, second and two, I can throw the ball away. It's all about risk management. The very next play, I know I can pick up two yards with an inside run pretty easily. Uh, ultimately, that's the only game plan. It's turning over these chains, staying ahead of the chains, getting the first down. So I, once again, take a very safe cut. You Just make sure that I get the first. That's all that really matters. This is all about playing football situationally and playing football smart. So once again, reading the defense, very next play, I see we have a cover three. Break yourself, fool! Uh, and we get a very easy touchdown uh, as we bomb it up top. So, like I said, that particular play, link in the description below if you want to see how I did that. The next tip is set up your audible plays because if you come to the line like I do here trying to run a dive and they're in a goal line, you're not going to get anywhere. But since I set up my audible plays, all I have to do is switch over to the jet sweep uh, out of this particular formation. And I'm having an easy touchdown because there's nothing outside it. There's no cornerback outside. So back on defense, even with all the BS, we somehow got this to a tie ball game before half. He tries to hit me with that running back route one more time. I kind of expected something deeper because of the situation, but you have to remember tendencies. And on the very next play, I'm going to do two of my tips in one play. I'm going to watch all the receivers, gotcha, and I'm going to remember the tendency because he ran this exact play previously, and you know it basically enabled me to jump the route and get an interception. So now we got the ball, tie ball game, 25 seconds left. Reading the defense once again, I mean, he's got a huge gap right in front of me, so I got to take it because it can pretty much guarantee a field goal uh, based off the fact that I don't have any more timeouts though that's probably why he felt comfortable running that type of defense uh and then you can see i'm just going to work the sidelines a little bit uh 16 seconds left i mean situationally i don't have a lot of options here he's got a big hole again but i can't really risk running it again because i don't have any timeouts i'd either have to score or i might not get anything and then i force it up and i throw an interception so i don't get any points out of the drive but it's not like i really had a lot of opportunity in the first place i mean i got the ball back with 30 seconds i did the best that i could you got to take some chances sometimes so it is what it is so on the defensive side second half um, he's hitting me with a lot of very, uh, you know, a lot of these plays he's hitting me with quite a bit. I was underneath of it, my user was too slow, and then I click over, and sure enough, I mean, that happened how many times now? Where when I click over to a player, uh, it just basically takes him out of the play. Damn it! 
I don't know if that's something that I'm not doing right, but it's cost me two touchdowns already. So he's going to go for two for some reason. I don't know why. I guess he wanted to try to solidify this game, and I'm all under that route, so he has to throw it outside. Gotcha, bitch. And sure enough, it gets picked off. He could go all the way 95 yards. So that's a big two-point swing because now if I score a touchdown, I'm up by three. The very next play, he's showing my passing game a lot of respect. He comes out in like something like a, a, I don't even know what this defense is. There's such huge wide gaps. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that run play one more time. Don't get a lot on the first play, but I don't want to lose that advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and call a hurry up, keep him in that defense, or even make him call a timeout. It's really his choice. I'm going to motion that tight end across, give myself another big advantage, and we have nothing but gaping holes here. So we're going to get a huge run on the second down. Like I said, we're only... A touchdown away from being up by three and pretty confident we're going to get it so we're going to call another hurry up the only problem here is eventually my running back is going to get tired i noticed on the very next carry that after sprinting the entire way on that play he already feels a little bit uh not so fresh but i still like that defense so i call a hurry up playing the run up the middle one more time but then i realized you know what he's probably too tired so we switch over to the outside run one more time switch over once again you gotta have your audible set as we hand it off to a nice fresh legs receiver and he takes it outside he's gonna score pretty easily so we take the lead three point lead uh you know not too much time left in the third quarter but things are starting to go our way a little bit i, haven't, I didn't really notice a lot of bs on that particular drive uh very next series i mean he's running the same idea of plays he didn't even want to try it to either the receivers that i've been picking him off with uh next play i'm real close i just didn't have the speed right there i mean I, i'm just remembering tendencies again i mean every time i see that formation i know it's going to be the play and i'm getting close i'm going to get that pick so eventually it's you know he's going to keep doing these tendencies until the well runs dry uh ultimately i'm coming out uh, in a lot of different looks as well i mean these cover twos are terrible these zones are terrible uh we're trying not to just stay in man coverages but it is what it is so we're trying something different here i come out of cover three and i realize if i'm going to get better usering i have to find the advantage as far as speed so i'm going to take this blitzing cornerback and i'm going to user him and you're going to see uh the the user coverage at least on this the rest of the series as i'm doing this is much better so to me you have to use an elite athlete this year if you want to cover the entire field gotcha, bitch. like i did there um you're going to have to really have either a cornerback or a very fast safety he could go all the way and then you can see we get another pick six because, I, you know, using that cornerback really helped me eliminate those other routes. And we're going to do that for a large portion of the rest of this game because, like I said, I was getting tired of getting beat deep. Here, though, I mean, I just got mossed. Like, there wasn't nothing I could do there. Where's my triggered animation when somebody throws the ball up? I mean, I got picked off when I tried that. Like, that was total nonsense, but it is what it is. Uh, and then, like I said, once again, remembering tendencies. Uh, once again, I see that formation. Every time I see that formation, I know where the ball's going. Gotcha, bitch. It's not too hard to figure out at this point uh, because he's run that play to death. Uh, and then we're just going to end it off. I mean, he comes out in a pretty soft run defense, uh, and we're just going to take it to the house in the exact same run play that we've been using. Link in the description below. And other than that, that's it. That's the vid. We're going to go I'm going to end it there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section hit the like button i'll continue to do them other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below